Have you guys heard about bioglutide? This is one of the most talked about compounds in the pipeline right now. Here's why people are so excited. Bioglutide is being developed as a quadruple receptor agonist. That means instead of just hitting the GLP-1 receptor or the GIP receptor or even all three with the glucagon agonist like retitrutide, it also hits the IGF-1 pathway. Together, these pathways regulate blood sugar, fat loss, energy metabolism, and even muscle preservation better than retitrutide, better than the GLP-1 and GLP-2. In theory, that can mean stronger weight loss effects with less of the muscle loss that's been a concern with current drugs. But here's the real game changer, oral bioavailability. Traditionally, GLP drugs are long peptides that break down in the stomach. That's why most of them are injections. Even oral semaglutide only works because it's packaged with an absorption enhancer and its absorption is less than 1%. 1%. Bioglutide, on the other hand, is designed as a small molecule oral agonist, which means it can actually survive the digestive tract and get into your bloodstream without the injections. If it works, as promised, it could be the first in class truly bioavailable oral GLP-based therapy, if it works. So what does this mean for real people? Potentially easier dosing, no needles, maybe even better fat loss while protecting lean muscle, which would be great. Early studies suggest it looks both effective and safe, but let's be clear, it's still in clinical trials. We'll have to wait and see how potent it really is once it hits the market and gets tested in a real world population. There's a lot of doubt this can really hold up through the stomach acid and the GI tract, but time will tell. Bottom line, bioglutide is definitely one to watch. If it delivers, it could change the game for obesity and diabetes treatment, but there are a lot of doubters, and ultimately, we'll have to see what the real-world efficacy looks like for this new, potentially oral GLP. Remember to always be your own health advocate and stay healthy.